guys, how's it going? This is Mike here once again. Uh, this is actually um, a video that I'm taking at my grandma and grandpa's place over in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And I figured I better get at least one video while I'm on vacation. I won't go up when I'm on vacation because I don't have access to a computer, but uh, I figured I should get at least one video. Sorry I didn't get a video on my niece if any of you guys were interested about that, but uh, she's beautiful. But uh, let's go ahead and get into it. This is an EDC video, a uh, vacation EDC video. So let's go ahead and get started with what's on my hands and wrists, which is generally where I start. I got a brass ring that I made out of an old gear. Just a fun little project. I like doing stuff like that. I got a 550 cord wristband from Mr. Biking Sean. Very cool guy. And then I got something that you haven't seen yet. Got it right before I left on vacation. Didn't even do an unboxing because I knew it would get up a month late. But uh, I got a G-Shock. I believe this is the GW7900B. Sweet watch, guys. Sweet watch. It's like perfect for me because I absolutely love fishing. This thing has tide graphs on it, which is ridiculous. Um, I am having one problem with it though, and I don't know if it's the way the watch is or if it's my own stupidity or what, but I've gone through the owner's manual and I don't know what the heck I'm doing. But to get into world time, you hold down these two buttons. I don't know how to get out of world time or if I even can, because now whenever I hit one of these two buttons, it changes time zones. So if you guys can tell me what I'm doing wrong, if you know, please let, please let me know. I'd truly appreciate it. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's all I got on my hands and wrists. As you can see, brass turns your fingers green. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and move on into my right front pocket. Spider Co. Tenacious. Little lanyard on it. Sweet knife. Absolutely love this knife. Got this one from Muddy Desire. Very cool blade. One of my favorite EDCs. Let's see, I also have a receipt from Big Five. Very interesting. Let's see up here that in the garbage can. Okay. Oh, here's a fun little thing. Um, this actually has a story behind it. Uh, I'm into coins too. I do knives, guns, coins, along with a few other things. And for a lot of years, me and my dad would go to banks and go through half dollars, like rolls and rolls of half dollars, uh, and looking for silver. And uh, one day I came across this. Looks like a standard Kennedy half dollar. But it's double-sided. So if you're ever with me and I pull out a coin to flip, you better call heads. Because uh, if not, you're going to lose. <laughs> Uh, I'm joking, I rarely carry that. Um, let's see, then I got my wallet in my back right pocket. This is a uh, Levi's wallet given to me by my sister. It's got the chain on it. Whole nine yards, you know. Cabela's gift card, a little bit of cash. I'm running low on cash, I gotta re restock that wallet. Just restocked it yesterday, but whatever. I uh, haven't really bought anything yet on this vacation until earlier today. Um. Let's see. Uh, left back pocket, I got my let's see, extra hair band because you know I got long hair. I actually got two of those. Uh, Fisher space pen, also from Biking Sean. Very cool. I thought I lost that on vacation. I was like getting freaked out, but I found it uh, right before we left our hotel in Nashville, which was fortunate. Um, then I got my glass cleaning cloth because I uh, have to wear optics all the time. Then I have in my right, or left, sorry, left front pocket, I have my 4.7's Mini AA Square. Very cool little flashlight. Uh, got some random change in my pocket that you don't care about. Yeah, a lot of random change in my pocket that you don't care about. Um, let's see. 
uh, side pocket, low pocket, kind of like on the Carpenter jeans they have it. I have my MP3 player because I am too cheap to buy a iPod. All I want to do is listen to music anyway, so it's good enough. I would like to get an iPod sometime, but for now it's good enough. And I also have a box of matches because you can do a lot of fun stuff with matches. Um, something that you'll rarely find me without just because there's so much cool stuff you can do with it as far as like party tricks and stuff like that. A box of matches is amazing. And uh, let's see, on my belt, I only have one thing on my belt today which is kind of weird. I would be carrying my Zippo but it's out of fluid. Um, yeah, they tend to dry up after a while. I got my Leatherman Wave, awesome multi-tool, you all know it, or I would imagine you all know it, if not, uh, check it out, there's some really good reviews on there, uh, on this knife out there, and I'll be putting up a review on this sometime in the future. And along with that, of course, I got my bed kit, because that's, in my opinion, one of the greatest features on that multi-tool, is being able to switch out bits. And then on to the last piece of my EDC, which is actually what I just got today. Um, you know, I figured, hey, I can't go home without getting at least something to show for uh, that I got on vacation. When I was at Big Five, I saw this, and I thought it was pretty cool. So there it is. This is a CRKT First Strike. I don't know who designs this I have no idea really anything about this knife I, I just I don't know anything about it other than it's awesome but it reminds me of a snooty uh, correct me if I'm wrong you know if you guys know more about this knife and it's not a snooty design then let me know it just reminds me of a snooty design um, it I believe is stingray leather wrapped by just leather strap and then this little leather cordage thing up here I don't know, I like the handle to a certain degree, but I'm not a huge fan of it at the same time. But uh, it is a pretty cool knife, CRKT, first CRKT I've ever owned, I believe. I may be wrong, but I believe this is the first CRKT I've ever owned. And uh, one of the main attractions to this knife is this right here. I've not measured that yet, but I'd say that's probably pushing a quarter inch thick blade stock. Let's compare it to the Tenacious. <laughs> I absolutely love that. I love those thick blade stocks. I mean, that's why I mainly use 3 16 and quarter inch. Because uh, if it's less than 3 16 it just it doesn't really float my belt that much. But uh, I saw this, and I just loved it. So I figured I'd pick it up. Uh, I was at Big Five, and uh, it was 25 bucks, y'all. Uh, it's a pretty good deal. Sheath, eh, eh, not the greatest sheath in the world. I mean, it does hold the knife. Okay, if you can get it in. There you go. You know, I mean, it, it does hold the knife pretty good. Uh, it's a little bit tricky to get in. It, it's just a little bit weird. Um, but uh, I do like that it carries so low on your belt. Some people like them to carry, like, way high. I don't, and it's because I'm a bigger guy. Uh, but you know if the bell loop is down here this pommel is going to be jabbing into me all day and I won't ever wear it but since the belt loop is way up here it won't poke into me at all which I really like um, but uh, very cool very cool little knife thinking about turning this into a project knife we'll see I know I'm definitely going to round the spine here because it's just very sharp um, you know, I mean, it'd be great for messing with ferro rods, but that's pretty much it. And I might make it a new sheath just because I'm not really digging this sheath. It's okay. I don't know. We'll see. It depends on how much I end up carrying it. If I end up carrying it enough to make it worth making or a new sheath, then I definitely will. But I doubt I'll carry it that much. But we'll see. Definitely a cool knife. But uh, that's it. Super long EDC update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it. And I will talk to you guys next time.